Just like yesterday when we were sat there and Nikki says we've gone to a real. posh place and you ordered a fish finger sandwich. This is nice, isn't it, bin bag boy? Did I get off this job? Right, so. These are that easy, I think even I could make them. You possibly could actually. Welcome to a new vlog. Nick's been very kind this morning and editing yesterday's vlog. And yeah. So what's wrong with face? I want the breakfast. I'm gonna make them. You know why, why are you being horrible already? No. It doesn't uh, know what's coming. 7.30 in the then morning. I have to tidy up and do all that. You've only got cold. You remember when I had cold and you didn't give a shit? And I said, wait till you get it. You mean, you're gonna get it back. No, no, no. This is it. What I remember is. Enjoy. Chop foot with your What friends. I remember is you being in bed and me bringing you green teas and vitamins and things like that. What have you just come out of? Bed. But I didn't have a green tea in it. You didn't ask for one? You didn't ask for one either when I was bringing you one. I didn't want one. 7.30 in the morning. Right, I'm, I'm still editing. a grumpy bugger. I'm editing, be quiet. I'm off to make breakfast. Whatever. And um, possibly get the sponge, the, the, the chair, to sit out the back. It's quite, quite nice there you go, darling husband. A nice coffee for you. Thank you, darling wife. Is it instant? Yes, it is. Well, I never make you instant. And here's your um, breakfast. Looks like you've grabbed in it. Oh, for frick's sakes, get it down, you I like filter coffee in the morning. Have that when it's just one person, it's easier. I, I usually manage. <sighs> filter coffee's on. Good girl. For God's sake. I think I prefer editing in the morning. What have you got on your face? Um. Um, blackhead um, face mask. Because I noticed that when I put it on my face, it actually ripped off the sunspots that I had here. So I've done it on both sides. I've actually got no sunspots left now, apart from a couple of things. I'm also talking funny because I've got teeth whitening. in. The things you have to do to be beautiful. You're so vain. You got your teeth things in. Don't know what you're talking about. Exactly. How are you getting on doing a thumbnail? Done. You've had to ask for my help though, haven't you? No. And I've had to advise. No. And you've had to change it to my preferences. No. I show <laughs> something arty, and you've got no art, artistic streak in you, so I've had to change it to a fish, a, a fish finger sandwich. <laughs> That's what, we, what we're talking about. More people relate to fish finger sandwiches. No, excuse me, let keep me it show real. you. You've got to keep you. it real. Let me show you what I put on. You put a fish finger sandwich, yeah? Yeah. yeah. I put this, watch this. Nobody wants to see a big that, freaking that, pot of steamy, steamy cappuccino. That is arty. A fish finger sandwich is not art. Just like yesterday when we were sat there and Nikki says we've gone to a real. posh place and you ordered a fish finger sandwich, you're like your dad, you'd have pie and chips if they did it. Let's go out for a walk. Happily ever after. Alexa, stop. Copyright strike. <laughs> I've just told my folks and uh, Batty B and all that lot to keep playing Happily Ever After by Jordan Fisher so that they get used to the song before Florida. And then when we're stood in front of the castle and the fireworks come on and that song comes on, we're hoping that Batty B will burst out into tears. All after. <laughs> One or other. I don't think she'll burst out into tears. When we ask her if she's looking forward to Florida, she's like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And she's like, I'm not bothered me. I could do without going. <laughs> That's an exact word, isn't it? Yeah. Miserable sow. <laughs> she's not a big Disney person and she's never really fancy going to America. Not so yet. This is going to be good actually because she's going with no expectations. So sometimes, as Nick says, when you go with no expectations, you have a really good time. So hopefully that'll be the case. Especially Which with is why we keep saying we don't want to replicate my actual a new experience because if you set that bar so high and you don't live up to it, you'll only disappoint yourself. I think she'll uh, especially be having a good time when she's sat on Starflyer screaming red off about above Orlando. And then, she, then, then I'll say to her, Are you Johnny Maddy Canal? Back uh, by Brenda. <laughs> see what she says. So, I thought later on, now that um, the Downton Abbey puzzle has been done, oh, and it has been done, we're gonna, we'll film it at some point. Oh, yeah. I thought tonight we might build the Millennium Falcon. Is that like a 3D puzzle? I think so. But oh, I'm not doing any more 3D No, no, puzzles. no. But it's not like as, as intense as the Downton one. Uh, are you kidding? Well, it's got numbers at least. My mum bought me it for my birthday, obviously because she knows we're going to Galaxy's Edge soon. So, um, tonight we'll build the Millennium Falcon. Mm, actually, not bad. Looks easier, there's only about 10 pieces. Yeah, now we're off a walk. This is nice, isn't it, bin bag boy? Yeah, I got all the best jobs. Yeah, well. Well done, though. Well done in editing yesterday's vlog, doing a thumbnail, coming up with a title, putting the end screens on, putting some cards on, and 
schedule it for patrons and schedule it for everybody. It took me two hours. Well done. That's it. Two hours. Two hours. You'll drag it out all day. Yes. Two hours is a long time and I have to do that every day. And I have to do that every day in Florida and all. I don't do it normally and I still took me two hours. If I'd got used to it, I'd do it in an hour. I think you'll, you can help me when we're in Florida. Anyway, I'll do it we'll one see. day, you do it another day. See. I'm, I'm doing all the specials. So mm. unless you're going to record the specials as well. I'll be recording every other thing. 21 beautiful days of Florida vlogs. 22. 22 beautiful days of Florida vlogs. Lots of new things for you this time, guys. Let me just... We have got so Let me just plans. get on camera, because... I think people want to see me too. Yeah, but if I'm editing it, I'll just cut you out. I, uh, yeah, with lots of new things for you this time, guys. So if you don't like Disney and stuff, if you don't like Universal, we'll be showing you lots of food, and we're going to St. Augustine. We've never been there before. Clear water. Apparently St. Augustine is a beautiful, beautiful place. It's the oldest uh, town in America. It looks very Spanish, apparently. From what I've seen. We're going to Clearwater, we're going to Cocoa Beach, we're going to Kennedy, Kennedy Space Centre. So lots of new things and we're going to try loads of new restaurants as well. And loads of new things in and around Orlando that aren't just Disney. Because yeah. his mum and dad's got the 14 day passes and we're there for 21 days, which means the last week will be a non-Disney week. Well it won't because we're still going to go. We'll just leave then. So anyway, let's get off and walk. Having a nice green tea. How's yours? Normal tea. Do you ever say anything complimentary? Uh, it's warm. I've made you a nice cup of tea. I've given you a load of Florida photos this morning so you can you look have. out on social media. Have. Photos from our 2007 holiday where we actually looked very, very, very young. So if you've not already checked out, have a look on Instagram. I had more hair and Nick was a lot thinner. <laughs> Quite a bit more hair actually. Um, I'm actually oh. doing a little bit of work of trying to. Are you? But the internet in here is pretty crap, so. We're just having a coffee and um, just bear with me because I'm just getting it up on my screen. Not of anybody in particular, it's just all of us when we were in Florida. Looking what did you say? 2007? 2007. Sazzle came with us. Did uh, you know at that point there, I actually weighed only five pounds more than that date because I actually dieted for Florida then as well. Sazzle and Nick? In yes, the Nick. Sea World. Yes, Nick. Yeah, but you yes. keep interrupting me, don't you? Sneaky. Nick, when we, we dined with Shamu, Oof. and then Nick got a bit of food poisoning after that. Although I think it was because he was drinking. Shamu, obviously. He was drinking jugs and jugs of Mountain Dew, so I think it was the caffeine. So I've got loads of photos from when we went to Florida. Uh, Nick and Sazzle there. That was the villa that we stopped in called Tropical Beauty, so we thought it'd be funny to put Sazzle under the sign saying Tropical Beauty. And look how thin Nick was. I know. If I lost him, don't lose any more weight. You don't need to. No, you look too. You look. Well, yeah, we'll do it. Right, we've had a cup of tea, and we're now off to a little cafe where we're going to have a jacket potato, or I am anyway. I'm going to have beans on toast. I like beans on toast. It's it's a healthy snack when you get it with wholemeal bread. Oh, I like beans on toast with white bread is nicer. Mm, let us know, guys. White bread and butter. Do you prefer beans on toast with wholemeal or white bread? Yeah, I'm not a white bread fan, but white toasted bread with beans on toast is just je ne sais quoi. You think I'm already a subscriber? Please click on the subscribe button. There you go. I'll and um, you we were just one. talking about uh, Florida, weren't we? Again. Again. That's all we talk about now. It's until we're there. It's getting close now. Well, his mum's sat there listening to It's a Small, Small oh, World God. on Spotify. Oh, God. The worst version ever with all the squawking kids. I, I know they'll never get rid of that ride because it's a Walt Disney classic and he, I think he, like... I'll never go on it again. But it's just not for me, that ride. I'll never go on it again. No. Not a chance. <laughs> so... <laughs> so we were talking about when we get back from Florida, it's literally almost going to be straight into Vlogmas. And... Um, we were just sort of talking about Ryan and Aiden and whether we'll do some kind of collab this year. But um, I think they're busy with moving house yeah, and things like that, aren't they? So I don't know whether... They've been very busy this year. I don't know. Are they still vlogging? Yeah. They're not putting many videos out, are they? Stop winding them up. Mm. Hi, Ryan! Anyway, um, let's get for his dinner and... Um, Tonight, we are definitely 100% going to make Lodo brownies and load out um, pizzas. Pizza. So stick around for that, guys, later. And if you just want to see the loadouts, skip ahead a little bit, and uh, we should be making those uh, later. But we have got a little treat because we've partnered up with them, those guys now, and they've actually provided us with a link and a code for money off. So if you guys want to try it, 
then um, check out the description below. It will get you, I think it's 10% off at checkout. Um, and I think you can use that code as, as many times as you like, but don't quote me on that. Well, we'll find out. We'll, we'll find out and we'll let you know. Anyway, so um, we'll be back with you as soon as we have our lunch. Right, I'm going to have beans on toast, on brown, and cappuccino. Excuse me. What do you think you're doing? Mm. Taking my cream. Well, since mine's made with water. At my request. Yeah. Get off my mm. cream. Pop some in my Let me try it. To make it look. Mmm. Mmm. So I'm being healthy and I got mm. hot chocolate made with water. And you've just said it's absolutely disgusting. But it's your own fault. It's your own fault you asked for it. Well. This is diet. What else can I say? It's diet. your own fault. Diet. Well, mine's very nice, and it's not diet. Well, but I don't care. I'm having butter on my beans, so that I need something calorie, calorie light for the for the liquid. And there's a wasp on you. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> get away. <laughs> mm. Beans on toast with brown bread is always the best. Mm -mm. White bread every mm. time. Mm -mm -mm. And they're not very sugary either. Very nice. How's yours? How's yours? How's yours treating you? How's yours? Going all of your chops? Going all of your chops? Come on, tell me. How's yours? How's yours? Come on, tell me. Not filming, I'm eating. <laughs> Looks nice. Looks delicious. Yeah, good. Are you loving that smell of horse manure? That's raw pig shit, is that? It's not horse manure, that is raw pig shit. I imagine it's horse manure, actually. Trust me, a horse's ass doesn't smell like that. I've never been that close to one to know. Choppy out there again. I'm going to sit this way. It's oh, nice yeah? and sunny and um, the wind is kind of behind us now. Yeah, I see. So why don't you come and sit to the side of me? Okay. I was just being nice little vlog. Ah. I didn't mean it. Well, I did wonder why you wanted no, me to sit to the side of you. Sit side of me. No, I've just got up again now. Oh. I wanted a dessert. You stopped me. You're gonna have desserts now. We're doing low dough um, brownies. I want. I want to put caramel on melted caramel chocolate. Oh, we ain't got any, so you can't. Call it kind of defeats the po object, doesn't no, it? No, it's not. You have low calories, so you can add the things that you like, so it makes it better calories than a traditional dessert. Oh, we could always go to Heron Foods again for 69p. Um, I want keen on them flavours. I liked the chocolate one. Yeah, I like the powdery and not very sweet. I like the birthday cake one. The birthday cake one's better. There we go. I'll just stick to this one. I've come a long way. I've come a long way, haven't I? We've done well. Gone rocks. right up here, yeah. Yeah, three rocks. Yeah. Ooh. It's too windy. Can you remember that time when I were on, we were on the beach there? And yeah. I had my wetsuit on and I couldn't get back. Yeah. And I had to swim out and round that and come back the other way. And I looked up because I'd been reading and I was like, oh, where is it? Yeah, you were soaking that day, I do believe. Yeah, you'll have done some it. Oh, it's very choppy to see this. Getting stuck in this freaking fly net. It's been good that though, hasn't it? Yeah, but can I take it down now? No, you cannot. There still flies around. That's no, been fly. really, really good. Shut up, you. you Whatever bad thing you're gonna you. say, shut up. But the only thing that's buzzing is you. I think it was about six ninety nine or seven ninety nine for Amazon that one, and it stopped up from the day we put it up, and it has actually been brilliant. It has been. What brilliant. are you getting gin out for? I'm not getting gin out for a minute. Bloody printer. What are you getting printer out for? Because. The lovely people at rentalcars.com have changed our car for us to, They've upgraded, a, haven't they? to a Ford Expedition, so which is a beast, a beast of it's a It's like a tank. So I now have to check in again online with Alamo. So if you're American, you probably know what a Ford Expedition is. We didn't have a clue. Until I think we, you can get them in this country as well. We YouTubed it last night and it is a massive car. So that has been kindly gifted to us by rentalcars.com. So we'll show you that um, whole process of getting the rentalcars.com when we get to Florida. This car looks like it's genuine. It Does looks like a tank. Big? And the screen inside it looks like bigger than most people's TVs. I don't know whether we'll have that, but the car itself is a monster. Yeah. 17 MPG, 24 MPG in, on motorways. So hmm. it's definitely a thirsty beast. So I'm going to get myself plonked on there, get some vlogs on to, cap, to catch up on. I'm going to get a couple of cold relief 
because I can feel it in the background, sort of like a tingle. So let's have a look in as, um, as junk drawer. That's the uh, cold relief we always use when one of us gets cold. As the cold relief, or Morrison's, or Tesco's. We never go for the Beecham's. Um, so I'm glad your throat's not so wet. Am I talking? You're doing. Oh, I got these in America last when in January. Yay! Triple sooth action. So so throat. You should have got them when you had yours. So you're talking, you're going to need every one of them. You were just like this last week. You were like, my throat's killing me. But you won't stop talking. Oh right, I'm going to watch some vlogs. Oh, bloody voice of God, to be honest. Right, guys, it is now time to make Lodo brownies. So, Ooh, that's a dessert. We have shown you these before, but we're going to show you once again. These were kindly gifted to us by Lodo themselves. Uh, so these are brownies, which are 65 calories per brownie. So the reduced fat, low impact carbs, reduced sugar, high protein, gluten free, high fiber. So, as you know, we like a little treat or two, don't we? Oh no, 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 we don't ever eat sugary things, us. So, um, this allows us to have treat more treats or some treats and not have too many calories. Right, stop rambling. Yeah. Right, so these are the easiest things to make. You literally pour that bag into that bowl. You have 250 grams of water, 250 milliliters of water. You whip it and whisk it, and you put it in a tray in there with greaseproof paper. And I'm going to decorate the top of ours. Nine. We'll make, this will make nine brownies on an eight-inch tin, and I'm going to put a blueberry in each one so it roasts inside it. So now we've told you what we're going to do. Now we're going to show you how to do it. Yes, it's dead easy. So I just need to set the oven to the right temperature. Right, so... These are that easy, I think even I could make them. You possibly could, actually. Now, one thing I will say is they're not, obviously, because it's a diet um, product, they're not as sweet as normal brownies. However, you could actually add, like, um, candor ale or something like that that yeah, you can cook with, sweeter. just to give it a bit sweet. I mean, it's sweet enough for us. It's not necessarily a diet product, it's just a healthier lifestyle product. Yeah, it's it's better for you than a, than a, a, a brownie, say, from Starbucks, which is like 300 to 400 calories versus 65 for one of these. So, I mean, you're supposed to use this with a food mixer, but we don't have one. So, I'm just going to do it all manually. It does work, whether you do with this. This has actually got lumps of chocolate in it. Now, you can obviously add your own. It smells gorgeous when you make it. It does. <laughs> You can add your own chocolate, you can decorate, you can garnish with fruit or anything like that. Now one thing I did see on, um, on one of their Instagram posts is another person who had made Lodo brownies, they actually drizzled oh, melted yeah. caramac, yeah. melted caramac chocolate on top. That would be absolutely divine. White chocolate and caramac chocolate is my favourite chocolate. So, while Nick's uh, mixing that in the background, I do just want to say again, these were kindly gifted to us by Lodo. Um, but as we always say, we always keep it real. If we ever get gifted anything and we don't like it, we will always say. So far, we've not been gifted anything we don't like, which is good. We absolutely love this Lodo stuff. And a lot of our viewers and patrons have started uh, buying it and they absolutely love it as well. So, there we go. Now, we, we do actually have um, uh, a link where you guys can buy this and get 10% off. So in the check in the description below. below, it's all listed there. Right, I'm actually gonna do it with a spoon rather than a fork because I'm getting nowhere with the fork. So we'll be back when Nick's whipped that. <clears throat> right, two minutes later, if that. So the mixture is ready. ready. So I'm just gonna pour that in now. There's something about pouring bun mixture into a tray that just reminds me of a kid when, I mean, did you, who? Did your mum used to look, make you lick yeah, the bowl? Yeah, I used to have a spoon and I used to lick the bowl. Comment below guys if you used to do that when you were a kid, you'd lick the mixture out the bowl before it was cooked. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button guys if this is your first time watching us or if you've not subscribed yet, it really helps us out. We have a variety of content. If you want to become a lodger, become part of the lodge gang and drop us a comment below letting us know. Right, that's almost done. Not wasting anything. So how long do these go in the oven for? Um, good question. They're going at 200 degrees but I think it's 25 minutes, but I'll check that in a second. So if you just bear me one second. Yum. 25 right, so, minutes. So 25 it? minutes. Yeah. So I'm actually gonna put a blueberry into each one. So you put the blueberries on and then put the blueberries in the oven? You can do them before or after, but if you do them before, they actually sink into the brownies. So that's what I'm doing. Blueberry Lodo brownies. Delicious. Shame we've got no Halo Top ice cream to have with it. I know. Right, so next is the Lodo 
uh, wraps. So you can use these for wraps, as you've seen, we've used them for kebab meat and things like that to put in. So they're 39 calories per wrap. Again, fat free, low carb, gluten free, keto, good for keto, high protein, dairy free, sugar free, vegetarian. So they're great for a number of things. It's a bread alternative. Yeah, so we've used them for wraps, but we like them best Pizza's for the pizza best. bases. Yeah. I mean, the wraps are nice with the uh, the Vivera mint, uh, uh, kebab meat. Also, we're having one each. Now, they do smell like like fresh bread, actually. So, I'm actually gonna do these pizzas. So now, we've each. actually made these in a previous video. Yeah. Um, but we are gonna do them again because this is like our official test. We, the other video was more of us testing to yeah, see yeah. whether we liked it. So, I've actually got, and I find that this is the best pizza topping, is basically a tomato and herb pizza topper from Morrison's. You can use uh, passata or you can use puree with a bit of water. And then literally it's two spoons on there. And then you just literally spread it around. We've got no pineapple, have we? No. No, we I haven't. like pineapple on my pizza. Who likes warm pineapple and who hates it? Can you get, think of one person who hates it? Yeah, I can. And what's her Francis name? Francis and Craig. <laughs> To Francis our... and Craig hate anything, any warm fruit, unless it's an apple crumble. Two of our lodgers, hi guys. We're waving at you. Wave at Francis and Craig. So we're using 30% reduced fat mature cheddar cheese. Now if you get this from Morrison's, you can actually get a four cheese mix, which is really nice. Um, however, when we went to get the ingredients, we got Tesco cheese. So two handfuls on, pile it in the middle, and then literally it's a shame Spread we've got it out. This left. We've got our friends coming at the weekend that would have really liked these. Uh, well, we'll have to just show them the video and, <laughs> and describe what it tastes <laughs> like. Yeah, I'm sure that's just, just as fun. So the final ingredient going to onto our pizza is going to be our pepperoni. And again, from Morrison's, German pepperoni. It's got a really strong flavour. We really like, well, I really like pineapple on with my pepperoni, but we we'd never thought about getting any, unfortunately. Right, and I'm actually going to repeat this again now on another pizza. And then we wang them in the oven of how long? Um, well, it depends on your oven really, yeah. but we put them in for about 25 minutes or until the cheese is almost just starting to brown. Let me look at the, um, do -do -do, make a pizza oven shell for 10 to 14 minutes, not 25 minutes. Yeah, but we've got a crappy oven, so. Oh, I know, but we'll keep an eye on it, we'll we keep an eye on it. it. Pizza's ready! Now, it would have been better if I used proper mozzarella rather than normal mature cheddar. But it you normally it dries out when you don't use mozzarella. Mozzarella's well, quite sticky. We do what we do with what we've got in fridge, so we don't have to go shopping again. And uh, once Nix puts this on our plate, we are going to devour this, and then we'll show you the brownies when they have done. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Right, the kids are on the phone. Apparently they've just sent a video message saying that the little one, Masha, has just walked in with a rucksack Hi, and told everybody that she's coming to Disney World. Oh no, 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 no. Masha, say hello to the vlog. Hello. What are you doing, Gobby? What are you doing, Gobby? Why have you got your backpack on? Why have you got... Why have you got your backpack on? Where are you going? Where are you going? Well, have a nice time. Because you're not coming with us. <laughs> yeah, bloody not. What have you been watching? Right, so, oh, let me just focus this. Oh, look at me head. So, as soon as Lee's finished on the phone with the kids, I mean, they're already screaming and they're not even here, we're gonna cut up the uh, the brownies and we're gonna have them put it in. Right, so I've just been on a Facebook uh, video chat call with the girls and my mum, and I've come off and Nick's almost done this on his own. Well, it doesn't take two people. It's not as if it's a Downton Abbey model, is it? I know, but I wanted a go, good go. Well, I'll take it to bits when I've done it. You Oof, can do it again. Does it get you excited for going to Galaxy's Edge? Not really. Does it? Does it? Galaxy's Edge. I'm looking forward to Cantina Band more Batu. Else. Going into Batu. Batu, Bright Suns. Bet Batty Brenda in Batu saying Bright Suns. Bright Suns. Bright, bright Suns, Batty Brenda. You'd have to explain to her what Bright Suns is. <laughs> we'll have to explain to her what Star Wars is. I think in. Disney's made that up because I don't think that's in film, Bright Suns. I think that's just... Well, Batu's made up as well. How do you know it is? Something they've created for Galaxy's Edge. How do you know? Because I'm a Disney expert. Like shite. I've done it! I've done it! It must have took it ages. <laughs> so it must have took it ages. Did you enjoy building that? Frustrated me. Because it kept falling to bits. This time, very soon, we'll be walking underneath that, taking photos in front of it, and then going in it to ride Smuggler's Run. 
Can't wait, and I'll have some blue milk and go to Ogda's Cantina, and um, we might we'll, see Tim Tracker. We might do. Hey, Bert. Right, so here's the low dose. Ooh, this is gooey. Um, brown. Oh, stop nicking bits. Mmm. Right. So nine pieces, and I'll have one. Oh, it's very moist. Very moist. Goody, 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 goody. It just goody, needs goody, a bit goody, of goody, caramel goody, goody, goody. chocolate or white chocolate put on top. And then it'll be absolutely perfect. Or a little bit of Halo Top ice cream. Ooh, mm. bits come off, I'll have to have it. Mm, mm, mm. They're all done with little blueberries bammed in the top of them. And then uh, the Millennium Falcon. Right, can I try one now, please? In fact, do you want to try one? Well, I want to enjoy my. Do you want to try one or not? Peace. Oh, I, mm. I actually heard that tear apart because the moisture. Moist. Is it very moist? Let me hold one. I think you may put a bit too much water in this time. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. They'll dry. They're not. They're not quite ready yet. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, oh, oh my God, that is amazing. Give me um, my own plate. Wait a minute. Because I'm having another one. Mmm. Sixty-five calories. Well, that's three. There's know, only one eighty then. Two. You're a greedy pig. Right, I'm going to enjoy this, and I'm going to mm. have it with a glass of milk. Oh my God. Oh gorgeous. So guys, just to repeat. If you do want to get this stuff, you can order it on the link below and using the code at the lodge, guys. It's really nice. And um, it needs a bit of chocolate on top, I think. Oh no, it's nice with blueberries. White chocolate on brown chocolate. Eat them well, eat them mm. well. I'm to watch a Get Binky video now. They've been to Bush Gardens. Never floats me but Bush Gardens. Let us know, guys, in the comments below. Do you like Bush Bush Gardens? Bush Gardens? Well, we're not going to. <laughs> do you like Bush Gardens? Do you go to Bush Gardens or do you always give it a miss? We kind of give it a miss, don't we? We have been. We've been twice before. But um, it's just not Disney. No, but we're going to have a watch of it now, so we'll be back in a moment. Okay. Right, I'm having a decaf green tea. No enchinachas tonight. Enchinachas. Right, so we're going to finish the vlog, but before we do that, we've got some patrons to say hello to. Excuse the kettle in the background. So the first one is Rebecca Atkinson. Hi, Rebecca. Hi, Rebecca. And thank you for joining our patron family. Uh, the second one is Hannah Crompton. Hi, I believe Hannah. Hannah's rejoined us. Yep. Uh, she took a break from patron and came back. Millennium Falcon. And the last patron to say hello to is Teresa Kipolono. I hope Nick said your name right. I haven't probably. We've been talking to Teresa on Discord tonight. Actually. Teresa C. Yes. Teresa C. She's going to be in all our How I would know. you say that? Kipolone. Or Kipolone. Kipolone. Cipolone, Kipolone. <laughs> Teresa C. Hi, Hi, Hi Teresa. Teresa. We've been talking to Teresa on Discord. She's actually going to be in um, Florida at the same time as us. So we're going to finish the vlog. Um, I'm going to have my green tea now. Would you like to get hold of the camera, please? No. You've oh, reached the vlog. green tea. I've reached the vlog. I've edited it today. Thanks for, for watching, guys. If you're not already a subscriber, please click on the subscribe button below to come and lodge. Hit the like button. Click the notification bell. It really helps us out if you become a lodger by clicking that subscribe button and being part of the Lodge Guys family. See you tomorrow for a new vlog.